gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Diana Gonsandinidi. I'm an international human rights lawyer. Even though it may not appear like this now because of this hat, you may presume what I'm going to show you today, it's my morning makeup routine. And this is a makeup that I do day in, day out to go to court. Nothing extravagant, nothing really confirmed by makeup artists. This is just perhaps my take on how to do makeup and especially when I have to be in places and I literally have two to three minutes to do my makeup even though I would take my luxurious moments now to to show you what I do but most of the times it's fairly quick bulletproof proof in every possible sense bulletproof in the sense that I can go anywhere and do anything with it whether I've got to go to court or whether I'm attending uh, meetings with clients this is a makeup that has been proven perfect in every occasion so I already put my moisturiser, which is coconut oil, and my eye cream, and I also put uh, my um, sun protection. So this is my go-to. I do it regardless of whether I do stay home or whether I go to court. Now I'm going to put my uh, brightening, so it's kind of the base, and I'm going to do that right now. I've got on the very forward here, I've got a mirror, so what I'm looking at is the mirror. So this is nearly dying. <laughs> i got to buy another one. But in any case, it will still do its work. And if you can see, I've got um, three corsos. I also had a big um, a spot here. So I'm going to have to do my best to really cover those ones. But if you, even if you don't get to cover them, it doesn't really matter. It looks a lot better to, to stay natural. I guess that's my take on the makeup, is to always look natural. Okay, even though I'm not looking at the cameras because I'm looking at the mirror, I'm not ignoring you. I see you and you see me. Okay, I do a bit of, they say it's good, is to wake up the cells and the collagen levels and all that. Okay, now, I have here my makeup. So I use a blend between Estee Lauder and a true match of L'Oreal. I think the bottom of the line is that if I can do it, you can do it. And I will use my hands. <laughs> I just blend, blend, blend. Okay, do you see how dark it looks compared to my actual skin color? I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna take it down the neck. So in the morning, I always uh, put something very open because then I have to put a white top. So I don't want to make it dirty or we'll stay. Trust me, it will look a lot better. Have faith in me. <laughs> okay. And you give a few slaps. <laughs> How does it look? And you just push it a bit on your eyes. Now in the morning I do this a lot quicker, so. Good. Now that I'm done with my foundation, I'm gonna put my Vaseline. Okay, moisturize that. The lips are moist. Now I'm going to set my foundation with, I don't even know. To be frank, I sometimes, I'm always in a rush of getting things done, so I literally pop into the drugstore and sometimes I get the wrong stuff, the wrong colours. So you set it under your eyes. Now all I'm going to do now is literally take a bit more 
off my um, S. Lauder double wear and I'm going to put it on where my lips are to kind of cover How many of you, you open your mouth when you have to put powder under your eyes? I don't know why, I always do that like that, as if I can't, I can't do it without keeping my mouth closed. Like, wait, let me try. Oh, it's so <laughs> No, I had to open my mouth, sorry. There we are. I'm going to use now for the eyeshadow, Estee Lauder. And as you can see, it has been used so badly. I have used this so much. I'm gonna use, there's nothing fancy to the way I do it. I just use a bit of white underneath to brighten the eye, use it a bit in the corner. Okay, just push it out. It's a bit more abstract way of doing your makeup. Nothing really fancy. I do that. And then I take the, the um, I take the blue sky colour here and I put it on the corner of my eye. Do like that. Don't worry, I'll, I'll blend all these in a bit. I just put it on one top of the other and then I kind of blend it all together. I'll show you now in a minute. And I take the brown one now. So I'm working with layers. And because I'm in a rush in the morning, it has to be fairly quick. I can't do it... Um, you know, just put it and then work it out to look natural. So it has to be one after the other. And I think the makeup industry should be very lucky the fact that I'm actually putting all these layers. Now, I'm not, I don't use the dark one because I feel then that it's not, at least that's my take on it, it's too much for the court. Um, but that's my take. I've seen a lot of uh, barristers and lawyers, they, they use different kind of makeup. Um, and they can use very bright ones or very dark ones. So it's up to you how you feel, as, as far as you can justify it with your appearance. Now, I'm just going to use my... It's actually broken, but this is what I use. <laughs> you have to be practical, you use what you have. And I'm just going to grab the, the, the top bit of my eye. And I'm going to work it. I'm going to blend it. Just blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going to fix my eyebrows. I don't have a huge problem with my eyebrows. It's just the right one. It's a bit lower than the left one. At least that's the way I feel. So makeup is all about making you feel confident, making you feel good in the courtroom. So I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown. And it says here, the Long Wear Gel Eyeliner. Um, I do find time to time that I'm using the wrong product for the wrong purpose, but it nevertheless it works. So this is supposed to be an eyeliner, but I use it for my brows. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I use. This literally, it takes less than a second and all I do is just a, a bit on the tip of my eyebrow and what else I do, I have this um, mold over here so I'm just going to touch it very briefly and give it a bit of an accent and that's all, that's all I do, sometimes I tend to fix that. There is another trick that I do that I have, I normally do it from the start but I forgot now, um, is I take my eye cream which is Number seven, Early Defense Eye Cream, but I've tried different eye creams, so I'm happy for any recommendation that you would like to give me. And I'm just gonna squeeze a bit on my hand, if I get any, yeah. And I'm gonna put it in between here, okay? Because this is where I get to see a lot of lines, and I like to leave that, and I don't, if you've seen when I was doing my foundation, I didn't put much makeup there, because it's not needed, otherwise it will actually define those lines, and I don't want that. Okay, good to go. Now, I'm going to put, now I'm going to put a bit of uh, blush, I run out of blush, so what I do, I use the, this is a an, an eyeshadow, 
it's not even worth actually for you to check it out. So I don't even know if it still exists. That's how old it is. And I just take a bit and I put it here on the on the top of my bone. Bit. And then I just use this brush. I use this brush and I just blend. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh it gives a bit of brightness. This is how it's supposed to look like. I don't, I'm not quite sure if the camera can pick it up. But I'm gonna blend. Blend that is. I may put a bit more. The moment of truth. Now I always tend to do my eyeliner, which is, I use blue color. And I use blue color because I feel that a, a brown or black, it is way too heavy for my complexion and the way it looks on me. So I, I'm going with, with blue and it feels good using it. It, it feels good uh, using it and it looks good as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't have any very, I don't have any particular technique on how to do it. I just do it. Um, I'm just going to show you how I do the flick. I'm not a, I'm not good at it, I may say, but nevertheless, it still looks good. So just watch how I do it, and if I can suggest to you, just when you decide to do your eyeliner, be confident. When you say you do it, you just do it, and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to do it. Here we go. first layer which is essentially just taking an eye just lift a bit my eye and do it and open and close the eye and then I use the second uh, the second part of this and I just do it quickly I'm getting so happy towards the when I do my mascara because I know the Makeup is nearly done and I have to go. Now for the lips, what I use is that I use a prep and a prime. And I do that because it lasts, and my, my lipstick will last a lot longer. And especially I have to be in court in the morning, then I have to go to conferences or meetings with clients and then I have to attend an event. And then essentially that could be from seven o'clock in the morning until eight or nine o'clock at night. I definitely have a pouch with me and I tend, I tend to kind of uh, touch upon briefly, but this is magic and I'm going to show it to you right now. All you do, you put this and it smells so good. 
put the low toe in, I'm visiting you. And I will put a lip liner, just use any lip liner, there's no point showing you mine, any lip liner you have and you feel it's right for your lipstick. And I'm going for a, I'm going to use a, a brighter one now, uh, a red lipstick. I wouldn't use it for quartz, a red lipstick, but because I'm going to film another video, so stay tuned for that one, I'm going to use a red one because I quite like red. So I'm going to stay silent to... I'm just going to fix my hair as well. Put my um, court outfit, which is essentially just white top and uh, black skirts or shoes. But this is the end result. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for my other video. I love you loads. Take care. And I will see you in my next video. If you enjoy this video, leave a comment down below. And I love you loads. Let me give you a kiss because I love you. Thank you.